Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Bob. We're still playing The Legend of Heroes Shows in the Sky. And I've been kind of staring at the, the food on these plates. I mean, obviously, there are probably glasses of wine. Neat little detail, right? You see Joshua and Estelle there? Their glasses, a different shade from the others. I'm guessing they're not actually drinking wine. We've given, like, maybe a sparkling juice. Rather than drinking, uh, being how they are underage and all. It's, uh, and it's like a weird pudding or something on the place. I don't know. But I do like the little detail about the two, uh, the two 16-year-olds not having one like all the others. But, blah, 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 blah. Excellent, excellent. What are you, Mayor Mabel? Think of gradual castles, Master Sheriff. It's quick not on par with that phony in Moses. I don't know, the restaurant. Yes, it's, yes, it's quite remarkable. Once selection, also perfectly gone to the meal, I almost want to try hiring him away. <laughs> You're the first to say such things. What are you, Zane, wasn't it? Is the food to your liking? Oh, it's excellent. The thirst has got the sense of refinement and depth. It's a good deal, a real taste for Liberian cuisine, though. Good, good, I'm glad to hear it. And you, young Bressers. I didn't actually you never experienced such fine food in your life before. It's extremely delicious. I'm more worthy of being associated with the royal family than the person who invited us. Whoa! Whoa, Estelle! Whoa, whoa! Okay, maybe, maybe I was just misreading there, but it, it really sounded like... Alright, well, It just sounded a little weird there. Hmm. It, I, I don't know, the way I read it, it really seemed like a... Insulting compliment. Alright. Indeed, it's a genuine treat. Eh? Yep, I think he just clicked in. That it was indeed a backhanded insulting compliment. Yeah, it's certainly delicious food. Couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event as this. Thank you very much for your gracious invitation. There we are, Joshua. Blah, blah, blah. Very kind of you to say so. And if I remember what my butler has been telling me about. But before, during the round internet, plus I think to link to some bizarre fashion. Uh, yes, sir. Maybe so. So he's forgotten all about us until his butler reminded him. Come! It's much such class and ranks inside the evening. Who's it, buddy? The wine flows really, so enjoy it. You're out of contempt. Your Excellency, if you could, I would like to do, do as we discussed first. Oh, yes, this is a fine idea. I have a city fine folk who represent the kingdom. I use a celebration of the place to make an important announcement. An announcement? What well, might that be? Hmm. I believe you're a little kid. Right, uh, it was my for him. Thank you. As you know, as you are no doubt already aware, her majesty has been in poor health of late. However, she's been recovering and may grace us with a public appearance soon. Ah, that's excellent news. Could we possibly go and check in on her? For she's not considered that to be a wise decision at the moment. Today it seems like the terrace play and the kingdom will be swept away. And that the queen's birthday zone be held as originally planned. Mm, well, the citizens will surely be happy to hear this news, as they've been looking forward to it. But surely, this is all you should tell us. Right! All right, just send a long message, is what I'm saying. Food is nice, though. Yeah, indeed, you are correct. We need to continue to recover as we said, however, she's also issued a proclamation due to her tenuous health. That she wants to abdicate the throne and turn over royal authority to her nephew, Duke Dunnan. Yeah. What? Is this true? Joshua, this is it! This is. Yeah, the community finally makes its appearance. Now, Mr. Brown, which for Bruce, as well, has left her equivalent frail. Blah, 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 blah. But it's only natural. She has ruled the kingdom for 40 years. Even though time is sad, well, all of them would have been on my dad. Right, to live with the Cessarty's full of the officials, she's just a conclusion. As the heir of the throne, this is her mind to make. Hmm, how terrible. This is a magic excuse for that severe. She said that I've never noticed any signs in any of my annual visits. Isn't this far too serious to 
a matter to discuss in what is supposedly a casual dinner. Pardon my rudeness, but this is a stretch of credulity. Ugh. Mayor Maybell. I think you cannot take his excellency at his word. Uh, no, 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 nothing of the sort. I said maybe that is not official. I don't understand why the successor to the throne can't be elected in the same fashion. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps would like to hear this directly from Her Majesty. But, but, your needs is quite understandable. We do ask you to try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. I believe Her Majesty will give formal announcement to herself during the festival. She should shelve your doubts until then. Well. This is basically this. Once this becomes common knowledge, we can't know how this is to react. We're telling the leaders first to observe any chaos or public disorder before it begins. And the decision of His Excellency. But, yes, this is true. Also, the Queen's abdication of the throne will have international repercussions. The nation on the continent will have their eyes on us and must be watchful for any action upon the Erebonians. So you can, uh, you can see why it's necessary to find support for the new king. This is the world in which we're going to be living. Hmm. Makes it sound so rational. And all oh, they're all thinking it over. Yeah, it's quite the master manipulator. In other words, the official debut will be given to the birthday celebrations. We thought it would be best before us first so we could be prepared for any issues that may arise, correct? Aha, uh -huh. I'm glad to see we have an understanding. Hmm. Just confess, we find ourselves quite busy. Yes, we'll have to announce it to the citizens. But I have a question. Believe that the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. However, not another who has the same right of succession. But, well. No doubt you're referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. 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 Yeah. Sure that she and his excellent have unequal claim to the throne. Uh, but it appears that Her Majesty did not choose her due to her tender age. So I agree with her wisdom in this matter. I like to impose such responsibility upon a girl so young. But yes, yes, absolutely. But that's exactly. Time being a bluey best for Claudia to feel find a fine marriage prospect. I don't know. Um. So she's ruled for 40 years, so she was 20 when she took the throne. Apparently didn't have a husband for most of it. Kind of sounds like evidence points that Claudia could do a fair job. No, it's strictly thumb. There's only a real family for a number of other names. Yes, yes. The wedding could take place as soon as this year. Oh, my. Hmm, I understand. If that happens. We'll have two major events to celebrate. Uh, I think she's a bit young for marriage. But not to take over a country? That's different. Excuse me, may I ask a question? The Dane? Huh? I've had a miserable speak freely, yes. Sorry to be seen rude. This doesn't sound like the kind of conversation with outsiders hearing. Particularly a foreigner. So how come you're making this announcement now? This is solely because of the serendipitous turn of events that allowed Bracers to win the championship. We want to inform the guild of this in advance as well. It's just the idea with Her Majesty. Gotcha. I guess the liberals, military, and Bracer are just as, uh, are just as good to turn as Dorsey. Ha <laughs> ha! Because we lack the military strength of the Empire or the Republic. But she that keeping close to with each other is a must. In the event, do you now understand her intentions? Hmm. Yeah, all right. That's what we're going to do to the guilt then. Mm. Man, that's a pretty unbelievable conversation at the time. But that was something else. I'm a foreigner after all, so it's not a big deal for me. But there was some huge news for you guys though. Of course it was. Can't believe that things have gone this far already. No. Uh, never mind. Really, what a shame for so many... Practically melted my mouth. You know what that last flare was, though? Probably poison. Yeah, I decided I'm enough. But anyway, I want to go for a walk to work out some of that rich food, Estelle. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, I could go for a little bit of fresh air. Duh, you just played tourist a little while ago. You want to take an after dinner walk? She'll get it. Must be a local thing. Nah, I think you're exaggerating a little bit. You're a gunner, it's taking the sights. There's a lot of a certain artist right here, you know? 
Let's see. I still give it a shot. Yeah, because you may still have some food left over. <laughs> Gotta be kidding, you're still hungry? Got a blade to my throat. My dying wish would be for some liquor at the snack. Go down to a bar or something a little bit. The bar! Yes, the bar. Uh, things are getting serious. I don't know why to get into Sierra Majesty. First things first. What did he hid hid man hid that might be promised? He knows a way for us to speak directly to the Queen. Fine by me! Well, first things first, the bar! Hmm. It's you? What? Ah, those ones. Colonel Richard. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I need to <laughs> Estelle and Joshua. This is our first opportunity to really speak mm, face to face, I believe. This is the last time someone of them was right after Mayor Delmar was arrested, wasn't it? I'm surprised you remember us. It was that we exchanged a few words, but you made quite an impression on me. My curiosity was piqued. I heard a bit of checking up on you, yes. I was quite surprised to learn that you were the children of Colonel Cassius. How did you find that out? Nah, please understand. I'm not trying to show off the intense division's capabilities. Honestly, though, uh, it would have been pretty easy to find out. Most people in Roland would have known about that, and their group, Roland? Yeah. I'm greatly indebted to him for our time together in the army. Indeed, more than words can properly express. Just for you to stay a while and talk. I've been going to speak with you two for quite some time now. Huh? Uh, pardon me, Colonel. But do we have a meeting with His Excellency? Mm, I don't mind being a bit late. Ah, yes. We're going to talk. We're going to use the lounge inside. I'll mix you a couple of virgin cocktails. I'll prepare them, sir. No, that won't be necessary. You go to His Excellency and inform that I'll be delayed. Yes, sir. Oh, she is not happy. She's not even trying to hide that. No. Pardon me, then. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, and part of a plot to take over the kingdom. Hmm. Now then, shall we retire to the lounge? Please follow me. Uh, Joshua, what should we do? So we have much choice but to follow him. A little late. Talk to the handmaid later. Yay! The Liquorarium! Remember Cassius shortly after I graduated from the military academy? Signed to a mobile unit that was under his command. At the time I found myself in his debt again and again, both personally and professionally. Uh, he did? And, uh, what do you think of him at the time? To it simply, he was a hero. The master swordsman to boot. Now that he found a way to handle any number of battlefronts in every direction. It was a matter of sheer tactics, and the student could direct high level strategy as well. Quite simply, he was a man without peer. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we were talking about two different people. Oh, still. I know he's your dad, but dads can be cool, okay? Was you with our father in the Hundred Days War? Yes, he was my CEO. Oh, that's a new expression from him. Interesting. Even now, I can really remember the excitement that filled me as we executed his plan that turned the war's tide. Any time I get to talk about those days, time just runs away with me. Mm, this much I can tell you. Because I've not been part of the Royal Army, but now be part of the Bourbonian Empire. No, no way! Kind of hard to believe. <laughs> well, as a hero, you had a knack for doing unbelievable things. If the army immediately after the war, declining even a medal from the Queen. So few of his achievements. I don't know. Even without a medal, I think, unless they classified things, it would be well known. Instead of the army, many soldiers still hold him up as the prime example of what a hero should be. Or if it's inside the army, yes. Uh, just one word about any of this to me. It's not really the kind of thing you tell your daughter about. So I'm going to criticize for that. Hey, who said you on? Besides, why don't this shock you like it shocks me? Do you already know about this or something? 
Well, I didn't know he was Colonel Richard's superior officer. The rest you know about. Vaguely. Yeah, it's, it's come up more than once. Just tell him lots of conversations. Your dad's a badass. He's... Everybody in the country is like, Oh yeah, Cassius Bright. You're the most amazing man in the world. Vaguely. You're an accomplice. Hey, calm down. It's like he told me anyway. I just figured a lot of it out. I feel, he told me he didn't feel it was something worth going out of his way to tell this about. Get it. Get it. When he comes back, he is so in trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. Please excuse me. We didn't mean to interrupt. No, no. Do you like this? Is actually a bit of a relief. I found out that your father was intending to leave the military. I desperately tried to stop him. See, by leaving, he did what was best for himself after all. His dear wife, maybe being with you was all that could help him recover. Colonel Richard. Now then, I think of the talking, taking the time to come here. I really can't keep the Duke waiting. I you'll have to excuse me. Oh, all right. Perhaps for making you so late. Not at all. You both have told me the one thing I wanted most to know. And thus, I have no regrets. Huh? Have that again? Ha <laughs> ha! Mm, I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again soon. Cassius might even be with us then to share in the stories. Mm, suspicious! Um, okay. Who's that man? What are you doing with Colonel Richard? What are you babbling about now? It's just weird to hear him talking about Dad that way. He's pretending to be so well nice. True. You know that villains anyway. Eh, nice people can be villains. It's just it's just a matter of ambition and maybe a, a bit a few mis misguided ideas about how the world should be. And those things don't mean you're a bad person or unpleasant to be around. Even so, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's got something up his sleeve. We should probably put the issue of Dad aside. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like you said, I think they might have been playing nice. Just because you could get something out of it. He just tells himself that he thinks that fooling a couple of kids is easy as could be. D don't you think that's going a little too far? You might be right. Let me be the one who's mistrustful of others. You should just follow your six. Believe whatever you think is right. Huh? But just make sure you're prepared for anything. Don't let your guard down. The rest of the job is pretty much that, in fact. Okay, I got it. Keep it in mind. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you? What are you thanking me for? Anyway, to go back and see Hilda. Try to stick away for us. Yeah, she should be in the maid quarters. All right, well, let's, uh, well, hold on, let's see. Hello? Any, any liquor? Oh, no, nothing I buy. All right, I'll see everybody soon for more.